Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of We the Revolution. I'm still in the courtroom, I can't look at his face anymore, I need to leave. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ooh. Okay. Oh, who's that? An official. Due to the establishment of a revolutionary tribunal, we need to prepare an official, an official stamp. I was told to ask you, citizen, because President de Voyer is indisposed. A stamp? How much did he drink? He was not able to say. Shall we? Ooh! I'm gonna design a stamp! How nice! That lifts my spirit a little bit. <laughs> so, what about the base? Mm -hmm. This looks a little bit like a horseshoe. With those dots. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. No, wait. Mm, this looks nice. Okay, so the top decoration... I think I like this one. The emblem... Is it a raven? Is it... Oh, it's a rooster! I think I want to go with the chicken. Oh no, I don't like that. Although this is also good. An owl! Yes! Oh, this is also good. I'm kind of inclined toward this. Although the owl is also good because owls represent wisdom. But it has an egg in his claw, so I don't know. No, I think I'm gonna go with this. This looks good. And the bottom I don't know, can I can we do it the same way as it is? Yes. I think this looks nice. Although maybe I also like those olive branches. Oh no, I didn't want that. That one. Oh, oops, I'm at the wrong. I also like the olive branch. Oh no, although it covers her head. I think it should be the same on the top and on the bottom, so... I think I'm gonna go with this. This looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. That looks nice. Thank you for your time. I know it's late. The stamp should be ready tomorrow. Good night. Okay, family time. So, what's the opening night of the theater? Oh, I could go to the theater with my wife and my older sons. I'm gonna work on tomorrow's trial. Nobody likes that. Political debate. My son likes that. My father dislikes that. I think I should do something with my father, right? Playtime with the children. Paragraphs and codes. My dad loves that, but as I see, there's a lot of things that there there's a lot that you lose when people dislike that. So I think I don't want to anger my. <sighs> I would like an opening. I would like to go to the opening night of the theater. Why does my father hate me so much? Okay, Frederick, I'm gonna do something else with you, but I think I'm gonna... I think I want to go to the theater with my wife and my older son. Let's go. Oh yeah, my wife loves me. That's how it's done. That's how you make your father hate you. Go to the theater. Ooh, who's that? <sighs> Tragically, we're losing control of the streets. People feel betrayed by the king and some believe him to be a spy trying to elude justice. Special means are recommended when suppressing unrest. We only need an opinion from the judges to make sure we are working legally. In other words, you need your blessing to shoot at protesters. People can't control their emotions and are hurting other citizens as a result. Look at the windows. Next time, they might do something worse than just throw rocks. No way. I'm not gonna let them 
No. Oh, they threw in some windows. It pains us to see unrest growing in the streets of Paris. Commander-in-Chief Burrell has informed us that the Guard is no longer able to control the situation through peaceful means. It is recommended that he be allowed to use more immediate methods to protect the innocent civilians, but he would like to know the tribunal's opinion on the matter. I realized I think it's pronounced tribunal. Well, I approve of the National Guard's use of force against ruffians ruining the capital. No, I'm not gonna let the guards shoot at protesters. No, 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 no. The authorities should not use force against the people. If it has to, it has already lost. I do not approve of this degree. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm gonna put up my stamp on it too. That looks cool. I like that. Oops, I probably shouldn't have done it over my signature. <laughs> well, we're new to this. Without this document, we can only wait for the citizens of Paris to start killing each other before our very eyes. I hope you know what you're doing. The convention may have issued the decree, but I have no doubt it was Robespierre's idea. The mob wanted to act as both judge and jury again and hang people from the street lamps. Poor Pochard was almost hanged. Pochard? Claude, po Claude Pochard? Exactly, they below the... The beloved tutor of your Frederick. You had to dismiss him after the incident with the oath of the clergy, did you not? Yes, Frederick tells me from time to time that he misses his teacher. What are you doing? The trial is about to begin. It's about Monsieur Pochard. News travels fast. He's been accused of counter-revolutionary activities. You know him. It can't be true. It's not so simple. Leave before somebody hears us. Papa, please. Go home. Think about the family, for once at least. I was at the theater with you last time. I thought you loved me, wife. Papa. Okay. Well, here it says that I have a good relationship with my wife. She still hates me, though. Things are getting better between the two of you. Kind of, I guess. So simple folks see you as one of their own, as if you grew up in the same chamber. During one of the regular disputes at the Café Procope, the brazen saint just demagogically, demagogically suggested that all judges are corrupted relics of the ancient regime. Unfortunately, he chose to use you as an example again. Oh, how nice. Okay. How, how great. The common folk want me to hang him, the revolutionaries want him to be locked up, and my family wants him to be free. I think I can't follow my family's wishes. I think a judge should never follow his family family's wishes. There's... I don't know, if he's too influenced by his family, I think he should... There sh he should have the possibility to step down, I think. I know that it is in, in real life. If you have some personal connections to it, that you can say that you are not able to look at it without having your own opinion, then you can step down and have another judge assigned. So I can't follow my family's wishes here. That's not right. That's not the right thing to do. Claude Pochard, a 26-year-old vicar and tutor, son of a cobbler, believes in enlightenment ideals. After refusing to adjure the civil constitution of the clergy, he was removed from his parish, prohibited from carrying out his duties, and sentenced to banishment. Despite this, he stayed in Paris and continued his work as a tutor, which he started before 1789. Pochard was captured in the streets by fortuitous circumstance. A guard officer present during his trial a few months ago recognized him and didn't hesitate to act. Following an investigation, Pochard was accused of spying and spreading counter-revolutionary propaganda in order to prepare a foreign intervention that would end the revolution. Correspondence with, Archb with Archbishop Jean Arzen de Brit the Breteux was found in a room Pochard had been renting from Marie Jemais. In it, the clergyman asked for an information about the unrest and the supporters of the monarchy in hiding. Riches were also found, a golden chalice and a reliquary. Moreover, the director of one of the orphanages, Claude, taught and testified that the tutor would question the law of the revolution in front of the students, stating that it was less important than the laws handed down by God. Evidence alleged to Claude Pochard. Ooh. Oh, well, he's accused of a lot. What's this? 
Dear Claude, remember to stay strong in your faith and complete your duties with dignity. Tell me how our brothers in faith are doing as well as the church in these desperate times. May God protect you, Jean Arzen. Okay. Then, let's take a look. So the accusation is espionage, I guess, and spreading propaganda. Mm -hmm. um, the evidence is probably the church riches. The offender's personality is a tutor. So counter-revolution would be to spend propaganda as well. The course of events would be, I guess, his banishment? Or is that evidence? No, I guess that's the course of events, right? Yes. The priest is probably his personality. A letter from the bishop is probably evidence, right? No, oh, yeah, it's, it's the only thing. Ooh, very good. So then let's ask him. So I guess he was banished and came back. I guess he came back and now is accused of spying. So I don't want to kill him, obviously. But I think I can't let him go free. Please introduce yourself. Monsieur Le Judge, you know me. Don't do that. State your personal information or there will be consequences. Claude Pochard, Monsieur Le Judge. You stand accused of spying for the counter-revolutionaries and criticizing the existing order. Do you admit to these crimes? I am innocent. The accusation is, is exaggerated and comes from the ill will of the accusers. Suggesting that the revolutionary government is acting in ill will, typical of a priest. What do you teach? The caregivers in orphanages only pay for reading and writing lessons. So why did the accused teach children that God's law stands above that of the Republic? You spread superstition and counter-revolutionary propaganda. This is a misunderstanding. The children I teach are unable to understand such complicated matters. The accused's explanation further incriminates him. If they are unable to understand the topic, why would he even discuss it at all? The church spreads ignorance and takes our money. I was only answering questions from the director of the orphanage in Gombion. I said that God's law stood above my banishment. It is God's law that prohibits me from leaving the country. I have a duty to help those in need. Why did the accused continue teaching instead of leaving France? My duty is to help others. If I am unable to help as a priest, I want to at least share some of my knowledge. Your knowledge is Catholic propaganda. I prefer the term Catholic well use. Okay. Why did the accused stay in France despite being banished? I had to take care of my sick mother. Without me, she would surely have died. Why did you not take her with you? Good, make the filth squirm. I was in no position to afford that. I am just a poor parish priest who is unable to even carry out his duties. I have to teach every single day to survive. Is that why you started spying for money? No, what information could I glean that would be useful to emigres? That of the supposed persecution of priests. The main argument that Archbishop de Betreux and Pius VI are using to convince Catholic monarchs to strike against the revolution. I do not correspond with emigres and I certainly do not write about the suffering of our clergymen. I would like to remind you that we have evidence. Away with the liar! So I definitely don't want the people to hate him so much that they want him killed but i hope they will agree with me on locking him up hmm, what information did the accused manage to convey the okay i'm just gonna ask him that what information did the accused manage to convey to archbishop de, Bre de breteux i'm really pronouncing those names wrong i guess i'm sorry to everyone who speaks french None. I have no connection with the Archbishop. Why would he be interested in a parish priest's help? What about your letter? We have it in our files. You received instructions from the Archbishop. Pope's dog? 
Behead the traitor. It is a simple letter, not instructions, and it is not from the Archbishop, but from my parish priest in Compon, Jean Arzen Cerreto. Where is he now? I know only that he planned to leave for Switzerland. He may have changed his mind. This is why I never thought to respond to the letter. What a coincidence. Archbishop de Breteuil currently resides in Switzerland. It is indeed a coincidence. Many clergymen reside in Switzerland. Who believes that? Hmm. So what will the witness say? Will she just incriminate him further? Uh, let's summon the witness Marie Jimmy. Citizen, what is your name? Marie Jimmy, Monsieur Le Judge. Let's ask that. Did the accused maintain extensive correspondence? Meaning? Did he receive many letters? I don't remember any letters with his name. Hmm, okay. Perhaps he had a rich social life. Did he entertain many guests? I don't remember anybody visiting him at all. He wasn't there most of the time anyway. He just used the room to sleep. Where would he go? I don't ask my guests about things like that. Did he pay rent on time? Did he ever criticize the revolution and its accomplishments? Okay, I think they're close to wanting him hang, so I was just gonna ask a little bit of a unnecessary question. Did he pay rent on time? Sometimes I had to threaten to kick him out, but eventually he would always pay. So the accused did not strike you as a person who has a substantial amount of money to operate with or spend freely? No, he lived like a poor man. I mean, a normal fellow would never get rich from teaching. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, let's just, just ask him. The accused travels extensively around the Paris department. To what end? I teach wherever I can find students. Doing that requires time and effort, I admit. Is that why you received gold from your fellow conspirators abroad? He travels around France to spy on people. The only money I see comes from my students' caregivers. It is not at all immodest. So where did the riches found in your room come from? They were liturgical accoutrements. Accoutrements. I saved them from the plunder of the church in Campan. I would rather go hungry than sell them. Fanatic. Thief. Peddler of superstition. Okay. Um, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. The thing is, he did do wrong. He was banished by law before and he didn't follow that. I mean, of course it is sad because he came back to look for his mother because he didn't want to leave her alone, but just judging by what is what was lawful, what's lawful, he did do something wrong. So I'm sorry for my family, but I'm not and I have to do my job and I think I gotta send him to prison. I'm not killing him. They find the punishment sufficient. Yeah, I do too. Prison is okay. Okay, prison is selected and my signature. And my stamp. I like this. <laughs> I like the stamping. So, okay, now we have to write our report. Did the defendant, conf did the defendant confess to the crime? Well... Yes and no. I mean, it's kind of obvious that he did. Okay, let's just start with the other questions first. Where were the traitors whom the defendant was corresponding with located? It was in Switzerland, right? How much did the defendant earn for his espionage? What? I don't know about that. Oops. Do I have to lie now? The lowest would be three francs per month, so I don't know. He didn't confess to the crime of espionage. Oh well. I should start judging better. <laughs> I sentenced citizen Claude Pochard to prison, lead the condemned out. He saved that priest. He showed mercy to an enemy of the revolution. He ought to have been killed. I have nothing else to say. Yeah. I'm sitting between two chairs here. Oh, that was m wrong. Well, I didn't know that. I never asked him, so I still did a good job, though. Is that how being a judge works? Someone reads over your reports and then grades you with a good job? Notes? The common folk doesn't like me that much anymore, but I think I made something. I made something up for the revolutionaries. The 
that's it. Goodbye. I'm sorry. So what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna spend some time with my small child. Because I think he won't be too happy. I think no one will be too happy. What's happening here? Certainly is a lot of blood on the street. One fool spewed out one word too many. The other fired a musket. They fought for freedom. Each for their own. The man who was forbidden to shoot. Commander Buell paid the highest price for our decisions. The defender who kept watch over ordinary citizens, but was denied the right to protect himself. Whether I like it or not, his death is also my fault. I think someone's death would have always been our fault, because if we would have allowed them to shoot, I think well, there would have also been death, and it was, would have also been our fault. Oh, it's our father. We made a nice profit. There was a chance of prosperity. Why would the Renard family want to take over your shop, Grandpapa? For profit and power, it's always the same and it's no different in these times. Today is about equality, so that not only the aristocrats can live with dignity. Grow up, boy. I only saw the truth when they attempted to sentence my son, your uncle, to death. It suddenly dawned on me that the only things that mattered were the power I never had and the connections I never cared for. You wanted to be righteous while the injustice spread like a plague. You should not be sorry for that. I am not, but I would rather your brother lived so that I still had two sons. You have a brother, Daddy. Where is he? Did you, didn't you just listen, Frederick? You're not that young. He died a long time ago, before you were born. Why did he die? He just told you. Listen a bit. Do not talk so much while eating. Your uncle went to war and died in battle. Your generation will soon realize the extent of the damage we inflicted upon the world. In the past, decent people like Poshar never had to worry about courts or tribunals. But now... Do you even consider the possibility that Poshar was guilty? No, not Mr. Poshar. He was no guiltier than any of us. Son, keep an eye on the Renards. Uh oh. Hey, I did what the revolutionaries wanted. Why did he... Okay. Oh no. My family is very hard to please, I find. So definitely not do that. Another opening night. How often does a theater open here? So political debate. Probably not. I think I should spend some time with my father. Evening with grandfather. Or a viola concerto. Hmm. Does my father like anything? He doesn't like walks. He doesn't like culture. He doesn't like political debates. What is an evening with him like? I think I have to do this. He has some influence on the people. I did something wrong to the people today. No, I didn't. I did something wrong to the... No, uh, I don't know. <sighs> he just hates me. I'm still gonna spend some time with you, father. Day five, okay. I've come a long way. So, where are you? Okay, so revolutionaries want him free, common folk want him dead. What's the case here? 
A tragedy occurred in one of the tenements by the Seine, near the Pont Neuf. The fourth floor collapsed. The tenants, horrified by the crash and ubiquitous dust, ran outside. Only after a few minutes did some of the braver men run upstairs to look for survivors and remove the corpses. Rubble and timber buried two families, 12 people. Three children managed to survive by hiding beneath a wooden table. Neighbors dug them out and carried them to the Hotel Dieu. We cannot comprehend what the orphans are going through, though, and they have not eaten or spoken for two days. The owner of the house testified that he had ordered the construction of an extra floor a few years back. Works were supervised by architect Maurice Lorty. The National Guard found the architect, who was also the construction foreman, at an address given by the owner. Maurice Lorty was not surprised when the gendarmes knocked at his door and he did not resist when they handcuffed him and took him to the jail. Um, well, then I guess we can start making connections. So, the victim... The extenuating circumstances could be that the flat was crowded, so maybe he didn't build it for so many people? Let's try. Okay. So, the course of events must have been the additional floor first, and then the collapsed floor. I guess the victim are the corpses. Hmm, we did it. What's going on here? Wait a second, I just need to... A few years back. Really? Is, can he still be held accountable for that? Let's see. The people are angry and scared and expect someone to be punished for this tragedy. Yeah, but I don't know. He's just the architect. Your name? Maurice Lorty, Monsieur Le Judge. Do you build houses? That's right, I have earned my living from construction and renovation for many years now. Did the floor collapse because of your mistake? I don't know. I have worked at many houses since then. Those children are dead because of you. Let me just say that I always build the best work I can. I don't think he's guilty. A few years ago, were you assigned to perform some construction? A few years ago, were you assigned to perform some construction work? It was nine, nine years ago and they still want to hold the architect accountable for that? It was nine years ago. I was supposed to remove the roof and one floor, add one floor, then build a new roof. Is that a hard task? It is known that it is easier to build a new than to improve something already there. Did the owner have any objections regarding your work? If he did, I would have made as many corrections as necessary. Which floor was built by you? The attic, the fourth. Before that, the third floor was the attic. Really? Call in the witness, Roland Lucier. Are you the owner of the house where the floor collapsed? Yes, the floor in the attic collapsed and fell on the rooms beneath. Did the tenants complain about anything prior to the tragedy? They said something about squeaky floors, but that's not unusual. They squeak at my place too, so what? Did you inspect the floors? I planned to, but this tragedy happened before I was able to. Thank God he managed to take their money. What? No. No, I do not want to lock him up. I'm not going to do that. I want to... Check my notes first. So, the revolutionaries want him to go free anyway. So that wouldn't hurt too much. And the common folk think of me very highly. So, no, I'm not going to put him... No, I'm not going to kill him for that. How is he responsible for something that he built nine years ago? I should have maybe asked the other question before to the other guy. Maybe there would have been some... Maybe it would have... Um, gotten out that there were too many people living in this house so that maybe it wasn't the architect's fault but just the uh, uh, fault of the house owner to let so many people in to be honest I always agreed with the jury I just want to hear I just want to hear him talk because I think it doesn't matter at the moment every they, they want to see him hang anyway they wanted to see him hang although he didn't even say anything that would put him in a guilty spotlight so citizen with your knowledge of construction what could have led to this tragedy 
I can't be sure. Pests, poor materials, too much load on a structure. Every house is different. This should have been checked before the room fell on people's heads. You did not mention a construction error. Yes, unfortunately that can also happen. I could have made a mistake in my calcul calculations or wrongly assessed the quality of the timber. You are not denying it. If you judge that I have contributed to the death of those children, I will accept whatever punishment you choose. Two weeks ago, a disease took my wife and I no longer care what happens to me. Wow. <laughs> not gonna kill him. Seriously? Did you talk to the tenants? The ones that pulled the victims from the rubble? They came to me in the night, angry and hurt. I understand the pain as I too have children. Answer my question. Did you talk to them? It was my question. I asked it. No, I was forced to hide inside my house and close the window shutters because they were throwing stones. So the building collapsed because of your mistake and you did not even have the courage to talk to the victims. It wasn't even his mistake. There's no evidence that it was his mistake. I'm a coward, I know. No. How did they know where to go? I don't know. Only the owner of the tenement knew my address. Oh, great. No, he's going free. I don't care what you think, jury. He's going free. He's going free. I find the defendant not guilty. <laughs> That's it. Did the defendant confess to the crime? No, he didn't. Was his act counter-revolutionary nature? No. What was the scope of the construction work performed by the architect? He constructed another floor. And according to the witness, did the tenants complain about anything? Squeaky floors. There is no evidence against the defendant. Maurice Lorty is not guilty. Can you repeat that while looking into the eyes of those orphans? Yeah, I can. And does it matter what we have to say? You'd better take us into account in the future. Yeah, I know, but you were... strange. You were acting strange today. Okay, that's it. What? I'm an enemy at the courthouse? The jury noticed you making the wrong choices and forgetting justice and foregoing justice. The rumors spread fast. Look, maybe you were the ones wrong in this case because I think I was right. I'm leaving for today. There can be no more demeaning experience for revolutionary Paris than the escape of Citizen Capet. He escaped, slipped right from their hands and the revolution now seems feeble and weak. The people resemble a child that could easily be duped by anyone. However, the Republic quickly composed itself thanks to a postmaster and his people who were able to catch the fugitives escaping to Montmédy. Ordinary citizens led to the fall of a monarch. You will have a chance to serve the Republic as well, for Citizen Capet will face the tribunal tomorrow. You will choose how he will be remembered, as a traitor and a coward, or as an unlucky statesman. If it were for the prison guards to decide, there would be only one outcome. No, I won't allow him to rough up to, to rough him up. I'll leave him alone until the trial. It's not how I work. So, what are we going to do today? Not working on tomorrow's trial, obviously. I will unlock more question effects in court. No, no. Paragraphs and codes. Oh, I just thought my son loves that too. Reading together. Everyone likes that except my oldest son. I think I'm gonna take that one. That's good. I'm sorry, Bernard. Whoa, he really dislikes reading. Okay, it's it's day six. It's another day over. It's a new day and I think I'm going to take a break before taking on the next trial. 
So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.